Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this video I'll be showing you how to create a kawaii teacup cat charm using polymer clay. So let's get started. To begin, you want to take the colour of clay that you would like your teacup to be. I'm going to be using this minty green colour. Roll a piece of the clay into a ball and then press it flat on your work surface and this is going to become the saucer. Now take another ball of the clay and we're going to shape it into the teacup. So here I'm just using my fingers to shape the sides and it's very similar to a pot plant type shape where you want the bottom to be more narrow than the top. You can see here that I'm then taking a large ball tool and I'm just pressing this into the top of the teacup to make a little bit of an indent. Next, roll a piece of clay on your work surface to create a coil and then you want to curve this piece of clay so that it looks like a U shape. You can then use your blade to trim off the excess clay so that you have straight sides to work with and then you just want to simply attach this onto the side of your teacup. Then here you can see that I'm attaching the cup onto the saucer and if you feel like you need to add some extra security or strength, you can just add a blob of liquid clay if you wish. Then here I've taken a very thin coil of black clay and I'm just gently attaching it to the side of the teacup and this is going to be the tea bag hanging out the side. You can then add a little square of white or translucent clay and then just as an extra little detail I'm creating a pink heart which I'm also going to be adding onto the tea bag as well. Next we want to move on to making the actual cat, so take the colour that you would like to use. I'm going to be using some eco coloured clay for mine. Roll a piece of the clay into an oval shape for the head and then you can move on to making the ears. So to create the ears I'm using my fingers to shape my clay into a diamond and then I'm also adding a smaller pink diamond on top of this. Then when you cut it in half with your blade you should end up with two even sized triangles which you can then go ahead and position onto the head and then of course blend them down with one of your tools to make them nice and secure. Moving on to the face, I'm firstly creating two indents where I want the eyes to go and then I'm adding in two balls of brown clay. To create the little mouth, I'm attaching on two small U-shapes of brown clay in the centre of the face as well as a little piece of clay for the nose and then just to finish it off, I've got some whiskers on either side. To the cat's head I also added a tail and this is going to make it look like the tail is sticking out of the teacup as well. And then once you're happy with how your cat looks you can then add it into the teacup and position it so that it's facing the front. Finally roll some little balls of clay for the paws sticking out the top and then just for an extra little detail I made a tea leaf and I'm just going to be attaching this onto my cat's head. If you would like to make your design into a charm, go ahead and add an eye pin and then it's time to bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I secured my eye pin with some super glue to make sure it was nice and strong and then I also added a coat of UV varnish as my glaze to make my charm nice and shiny. So here is what the final design looks like and how mine turned out. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel for lots more crafty videos and I will see you next time. Bye guys!